the one quarter of the people in the school are teachers and the rest are children. One third of the children are girls. There are 10 boys. How many people are there in the school? Now, when we deal with fractions, do not just rush to make the denominators the same. Okay, because sometimes the two denominators may be referring to two different groups of objects or different groups of people, right? So you must understand why in lower primary, when we make denominators the same, is because both the denominators represent the same total, all right? But as you progress to P4 to P5 onwards, okay, things may not be as simple. It may not be as simple as you think anymore, all right? So most importantly is we got to understand what, is the significance of the numerators and the denominators. All right, so let's do that first. Okay, so firstly, the one quarter here, one quarter of the people are teachers. Okay, so I'll start off the numerator. So this one unit, who do they represent? They represent the teachers. Okay, so I'm sure most of you know this. One unit is the teachers. Now, what about the four units? Okay, so four units, who do they represent? So usually I will see the keyword of the people. Of the people usually tells you that, you know, the denominator, who are they? So four units refers to the total people in the school. Okay, so I'll just call this total because people means everyone. Now let's move on to the second fraction that we see here. Okay, one out of three of the children are girls. So one unit here represents the girls. Right? And who does the three represent? Okay, so again, I will see the word of the children. One third of the children are girls. Girls, we already know, is one unit. So three units here have to be the children. Okay? Now, you see what I mean here. All right? Both the denominators here, they do not actually represent the same thing. This four and this three, this four represents the total people. Everyone teachers and students, okay? Whereas the three here only refers to the children only, right? All right, so this is where we cannot make the denominators the same because they both represent different types of people, okay? So what we should be doing is we should be drawing a model first. So we have to start off with drawing the total four units. Okay, so let's do that. So four units. Out of four units, what we know is that one unit represents teachers. Okay, so make sure you label that down. Now, the rest are children. So where are the rest? The rest, of course, have to be the remaining three units here. Okay, so let's label that children. Okay, so now moving on to the one out of three of the children are girls. Just now we said we discussed that the three units represent children, and just nice on my model, I see three units tallies with the three units children here. So for it, it falls perfectly in. All right, so I don't have to do anything else. What I can just do is out of the children three units, I have to label one of the units for girls. Okay, so let's do that. One unit will be for the girls. There are 10 boys. Now, where are the 10 boys? So obviously, this children, three units. This one unit is the girls. The girls, right? Okay, so the two units here have to be the boys. The 10 boys. And that's it. Okay, so model done. So once your model is done, you notice that now you can start working with the 10 boys. How many units is the 10? As we can see, it's the two units. Okay, so two units is 10 Always find the value of one unique leg. So one unique will be 10 divided by 2, which will be 5 people. Once you found one unique's value, read back the final question. How many people are there in the school? People represents everyone. Okay, so everyone will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 units. So we're going to find the value of 4 units. So 4 times 5, and that will be 20 people altogether.